<laughs> oh, you stood up. No. I can't stand up. Yeah, you can. You can. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, this talk is going to be on uh, basically the introduction to audio creation. Right? I'm not really going to go too in depth with all the features that all the programs have, but I just want to give like a basic idea on what's possible in Linux. So, the first thing that Linux has available is a utility called JackD. And what JackD is, is if you're going to do any kind of audio creation, manipulation, anything, you're going to need JackD. So what Jack D does is it pretty much for, for, if you think of it along the lines of hardware, it makes every application that has audio output, it makes it like its own hardware that you would then be able to wire together to other pieces of hardware. But this is all software. So you would be able to you know, take a uh, synthesizer and pass that through an effects board and then pass that through uh, a sequencer and pass that through to a multi-track and all through Jack D. And there's a lot of different programs you can use to uh, manipulate the wiring of Jack D and all the applications. The most used one, in my opinion, is Jack Control. It also goes under titles like uh, Q Jack Control. Uh, I think that's what Fedora uses. Um, so when that one that comes up, you click start and it starts Jack D. And then under connect, you have your three tabs, audio, MIDI, and also. And you have uh, output and input, pretty simple. So under also, key rig is the MIDI keyboard here. And then you can pass that through like the input or the, uh, the yeah the output of the keyboard to an input of another program. But unfortunately, right now we don't have anything set up in place. So after that, the one thing, the one program or uh, piece of hardware, so to speak, that you would need is a multi-track recorder. So that way you can have multiple instruments playing at once, and you can record all of them at the same time. So in Linux, there is a utility called Ardor. And when you launch Ardor, it'll ask you about what kind of session you want to create. So call it plug it. Click new. And now we have a multi-track recorder. Now, in our door, you can set up however many tracks you want. Uh, so let's create a single track in mono. Let's rename it pads. Now, the interesting thing, or one of the great features, is now our door is in the jack control. And not only that, but there's the input for the pads track. So now we have our door going. The next program is Zinad sub FX. And this is a um, c uh, not sequencer. Um, synthesizer. So you can do uh, software synthesize uh, sounds. The one thing with Zenad sub FX is it is very intimidating if you don't know what you're doing. Because you can literally do just about everything with this program. But for argument's sake, like I said, this is just an introduction, so I'm going to use the basic instruments that come loaded. Now, in order to take advantage of Zen Adso, since I have the keyboard here, 
select key ring 49, say add sub, connect, and let's say synth pad. Our door acts like any other uh, software-based multi-track, like Pro Tools or uh, programs like that. You would have the track and you would click record. So now it's, that track is ready to record. And then you go here, you click record, and it's flashing, meaning that now everything is ready to record. So now, when you hit play, it's starting to record. Explain because I don't think everybody necessarily knows what the difference is between audio. It's like vector versus bitmap. Okay. Can you explain what the difference is between sequential MIDI style and audio recording? Okay. Uh, audio recording is you have uh, a microphone and they play into the mic, you hit record, and it records what they play. What a sequence recording does is it records uh, the keystrokes that you make on the keyboard, not the actual sound. So then what you would end up doing with a sequence recording is you would pass that into uh, Zen Ad Sub or whatever to get the sound and then you would pass that to the multi-track to record it. And the benefits to doing a sequence recording is that when you do sequence you can fine tune it and you can take as much time as you want to fine tune it. You don't have to sit there and re-record every single track all over again. It's a little like a macro for music. Pretty much, yeah. It's, it's like the difference between doing a scan of a page and doing an OCR of a page. It's like when you have the original keystrokes, you can change the font, you can do a whole bunch of things you can't do with the scan of the text. Exactly, exactly. And I think that if you get better hardware, you'll get an improvement where it's the regular recording what you're not. It's basically what you record in the first place. Mm -hmm. Well, the recording, add effects and stuff like that, but you can't change the performance. But you know, right, right. So with the sequencer, you can fix the, the performance, you can change voices, you can yep. do all sorts of stuff. Exactly. <coughs> so now, this is my favorite program, Hydrogen. It is a drum machine. I love the drums. <laughs> so the, um, they have different uh, drum kits that you can uh, in install and you can uh, to mimic different various kinds of hardware-based drum kits. The default one that they have is pretty simple. It's you got your kick, your snare, jazz snare. But the one that I actually enjoy using the most is Yamaha Vintage Kit. Now it's the it's, it knows it's there, load drum kit. Now there you go. Now the benefit 
benefit to having a uh, MIDI keyboard is you can use the MIDI keyboard to do the drums. Volume. Lash is, a, uh, um, Lash is an effect program. It does like software-based effects. Okay. So I don't, I don't know why hydrogen would need Lash. Okay. It makes it like an auto-compile requirement. I mean, maybe you expected that module and you didn't actually install. How did you install it? I said, after get install hydrogen. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting because I did We're that on the first install and Lash. never had a problem. Okay, well, let's that's see. right. Get Ask install get installed Lash. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to do that. I, I just didn't, I've never even heard of Lash. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lash panel. Um, now, the, the very nice thing about using a MIDI keyboard, especially like a, a good quality MIDI keyboard, is that uh, the harder you press the keys affects the output. So for the kick, somewhere here. Okay. Yeah. I can't figure it out by where the, the hour is on the, the beat number.
So now we've got two tracks recorded. Very simple. But now we have to sit down for this one. With hydrogen, that was just a basic uh, drum that you can create. Now, the one thing that I don't like about hydrogen is when you record, if it's not on beat, it you can't just like quickly change it. Uh, like for example, if you go to record, you're playing it. not quite on the bar. So you have that one there, you would have to delete it and then put it where it needs to go. You can't just bring it over. So that's one of the things I don't like about hydrogen, but maybe they'll change that in the future. So this person can change it yourself. Exactly. If I was a developer, I would. Now the next program, SEC24. This is the sequence of program. What the sequencer does, like the one over before, uh, you would be able to change, modify everything uh, without having to re-record all over again. Now. defaults to MIDI port O for the uh, output, you can change that. So let's go to hydrogen. And you have your basic keyboard like you did here. one sequence. Now, I'm going to do a uh, I don't really like that one.
Sequencer, and again, if you wanted to edit the actual song itself, you can just go into it, into the actual sequence, and edit it however you feel like. Now, in here, now we actually lay down each sequence in order however we want. So. all the sequences that we put in. Now the nice feature about um, SEC24 is SEC24 mimics the MIDI keyboard. The program itself doesn't have its own output. It sends the output to the programs that creates the samples. So you can have as many uh, instances of hydrogen or zin add sub that you want, and you can just pass each sec 24, which is call each individual program how you set it, and then you would just pass that to our door for the recording. So, with the zin add sub, we have that as the alien law thing. Just let your imagination run 
of the programs. I'm sure most of you know or use Audacity regularly, but I figure that that's one program that I really should mention. Export, it goes through the entire song. And done. Probably is a plugin for a Latspo plugin that will do that. But I am not sure if I have it installed or not. Uh, 
first station we used had one that would allow you to change the speed without changing the pitch. So that thing would like start it up and drop a bunch. Well, it's sort of interesting from a from a sequencing versus audio perspective because once you move into an audio format, there are things you can do that would be difficult to do in sequencing and vice versa. Mm -hmm. I think you're showing the best parts of that here. Yet you could still go back into the sequence and be able to play with that too. Right. Which just makes it much more versatile. Unfortunately, the thing with, with that is if I'm all of a sudden now not happy with the way one of the sounds works, then yeah, I would have to go back to the sequencer, change that, and then re-record that, and then re-export that. Yeah, but imagine if you didn't have the sequence to go back to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because then I would literally have to replay the entire track all over again. But was it real to real fun? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
have been working on is Do remember my last presentation on Terminator X? This is one of the other uh, this is uh, one of the other abilities that Terminator X has.
kept it playing, looping it over and over again. You have to have a really, really good, uh, you know, uh, beat idea going on. Sounds yeah. brutal. Yeah. saying like if, if you had a mic, I thought that you were talking about having a mic set up and like had five people just come up and say something random <laughs> and then somehow you mix that together into something interesting. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, may or may not be possible. No, the mic. Well, unfortunately, I don't have my microphone equipment with me. Well, it so happens that I have a mic here. for <laughs> 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 Never. 
ever used the recording of the microphone on this laptop? Um, I think it might even be interesting. I mean, nobody's going to come up and hear their voice if you just like drop the mic and record it mm -hmm. or you know, knock it on the table. I did something you know, just to demonstrate sort of chaotic. I know. The Daniel. What? I know what he's doing. Sing us a few bars. I haven't been on a bar in days. Yeah, I thought it was just uh, um, that much shit on it. Uh, or else we can just keep the uh, dead silence away. Are you running Rockbox on the version? Rockbox. Yep. How does that compare to the iPod? Rockbox has is it doesn't have as good of um, battery life. Really? Really? Yeah. Check, check the latest. Yeah. Uh, I updated almost yeah. every day. Okay. The Supposedly, they've gotten a lot of They've gotten some of it, but it's still not quite okay. up there with the iPod. Oh. iPod firmware, you can only listen to music and look at pictures. But with Rockbox, I can play movies on it. Mm -hmm. Oh. And I can also, if I wanted to, I can play Doom oh. on the iPod. Uh, it has a built-in text editor, so I can write documents or edit the ID3 tags if I wanted to. Right, but I, I guess I guess I guess the reason I'm asking is that um, I have some I have I've only had this for for about a month, mm -hmm. and is that the classic? Yeah, it's not the classic. What? Not I'm sorry, that was not. Doesn't work in the classic yet. They yeah. completely yeah they completely changed the hardware and firmware. They changed the hardware, the firmware. They have encoded the firmware. My biggest complaint is 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 the, the control and shuffle. <clears throat> I have this notion that, that shuffle should be controlled by genre. And they don't. 
They don't. <laughs> the, the best I can do is, is, is in GTK pod, I can select everything under classical and say, don't include this in shuffle, and that's about it. Well, I and, I, and I'm just wondering if Rockbox is more flexible. Well, I, I, since I don't have an iPod, is there a way to make a playlist? That's oh, yeah. all of classical and all of non classical and then shuffle the playlist? Probably. I just haven't figured out how to do it. No, I don't want to have to keep recreating the playlist every time I add another album. Oh, I see. It sounds almost like work. <laughs> no, work is that thing I'm avoiding while I'm playing with my iPod. <laughs> oh, do I say that on camera? Now, speaking of my name's Tom. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now, speaking of the whole playlist thing, to me, I feel that the playlist is work. And when I legally rip my CDs onto my computer, I put them in the appropriate folders, and then I just click and drag that folder to my iPod, and just there you go. So long. We don't oh, because Rockbox probably that. doesn't mangle the. Nope. Well, maybe I'll wait until they come out of Rockbox and I'll play with my iPod. I don't look at iPod and I'll say, hmm? I don't look at iPod and I'll
was a repackaged uh, product. The actual price was $99.99, but I ended up getting it for $89.99. Uh, I had some technical difficulties. <laughs> Which is why it was repackaged. Exactly. Well, that's the thing. When I got it, I plugged everything in and it didn't work. Flat out, I'm hitting the keys, nothing. But it's being detected and it's loading in everything. It comes up. Like, why isn't it working? Well, one of the uh, features that Zen, Zen adds up FX has is you can use your actual computer keyboard as a keyboard to do you know, keyboard. So I'm hitting the keys on the keyboard, making the sound, and I start moving the pitch wheel. We're out of time. That's fine. So I start moving the pitch wheel.